How you doing? Good. We'll get ready with some questions here. Uh, let's start with uh, James Krapia from the Oregonian. Mike, I wanted to go back in time a little bit first uh, to just over seven months ago. So the last day of spring, we're seeing, obviously, you guys come off the field. We were, I think we were supposed to even talk to you that day, and we, we didn't do everything that went down. Yeah. You see the reports that out of Tampa that your dad was mentioning that someone in the family was uh, uh -huh. COVID positive at the time. Can you share who that was? And just from that experience through coming back to campus and everything else, just how you approach this whole situation, having somebody immediately in the family who was uh, dealing with it. Yeah, um, it was actually my dad's uncle. So uh, I believe my great uncle, he uh, ended up passing away due to COVID complications and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's in that aspect of things, uh, my dad was really close to them. I didn't have the strongest relationship due to just being in college and stuff like that. I know my dad was really upset about everything and uh, our family takes this, uh, this virus very seriously and um i just i know my dad was very upset but at the end of the day it's life and it's really upsetting but i know we have to move on and stuff like that so i mean yeah um just due to covid complications he he passed away uh next question comes from uh, tyson alger of the athletic Hey, Micah, like that whole month of August, as you have like the, the season being postponed, you have players opting out, you have like the whole like Players United thing, like it's very obvious that like you wanted to play ball and just yeah. like, how was it kind of just navigating that just amongst with like your teammates who like some people felt differently and obviously mm -hmm. just, just all of that, like what just how, how was politics isn't the right word, but just how, how were you guys able to kind of work that in the locker room and just amongst your teammates? Um, I mean, we, we worked it, uh, in many ways. I mean, we all have respect for one another. Um, I know my teammates and they have values. I mean, everyone views, uh, things in different ways. And I understand that. And all I wanted to do was just play football. Um, I wasn't trying to come at my teammates. I wasn't trying to come at guys who opt out. Um, I just love football and I just really wanted to play. Some guys have different views on health, uh, issues and stuff like that. So everyone needs reassurance and, um, you know, my teammates, they, they needed that and I respected it and I didn't think anything about how they how they came across it. So honestly, personally, I just I think that I was just very advocate about playing because that's all I know is football. You got to think of a kid who who's been raised um, dad in the NFL, brother in the NFL now. Um, all I know is ball and. So that's, that's really just why I was so advocate of playing. I didn't want to knock any of my guys or my teammates down because I, I totally respect with whatever decision they had. And I it was a little bit frustrating for you because of not being on the field all the time due to injuries, but what did you take out of the time you were able to be out there, you know, with a major role and getting to play with Justin Herbert and all those things? How much did that help you going into this year? Um, it helped me a lot. Um, it kind of helped me become a veteran now. Um, just having having that playing uh, time and being out there. I mean, you know, as a young buck, you know, uh, I was just really antsy and just wanted the ball all the time. But I understand now it's concepts and schemes and stuff like that that's going to give me the rock. And I'm understanding coverages way more due to uh, Coach BMAC and stuff. He's definitely one of the best coaches I've ever been around. So I'm grateful for him. Um, and really just having that play time my freshman year helped me become a veteran now. I feel like I'm not making freshman mistakes, not making those little things that I used to make. Next question, A.J. Jacobson of Rivals. Hey, Mike, uh, you know, we're not very familiar with the, the play and practice of, of Shuck and Anthony Brown just because we haven't been able to see him too much. Yeah. Um, can you give us your perspective as, as a wide receiver of what you're seeing out of those two quarterbacks uh, so far? Um, both very talented quarterbacks. I love them both. Uh, I'm just very grateful that I'm spoiled to have them both in my life, you know, throwing me the rock. Um, I know it's going to be a competition, and, I mean, ever ever since – I guess day one since I've been here, Chris Ball has been very advocate about competition and he loves bringing competition into the room. And so 
So I just can't wait to watch those guys compete. And uh, I love them both. They're both great quarterbacks, and I have a good relationship with the both of them. Next question, Max Torres from Scoop Duck. Hey there, Micah. Uh, one interesting topic that we've kind of seen as of late is uh, players kind of building their own brand. One of the bright spots of this offseason for me has actually been following your YouTube channel and kind of seeing what things are like for you day to day. Talk a little about what it was like kind of uh, starting that channel and kind of what went into it. Um, so my brother actually kind of inspired me. My older brother, he Looks like we might have lost him. He, okay, you guys here? I hit the wrong button. That was on me. Sorry, Micah. All good. All good. Um, so yeah, um, my brother kind of inspired me. Like I said, uh, he has around three hundred thousand subscribers, and um, he's been kind of a motivator in showing me the way. You know, building your own brand is kind of is basically key in your life. You know, you want to inspire others. My goal in making that YouTube was inspiring other kids. I don't. I obviously can't make any money due to. Obviously, will like to, but I don't know when that rule will happen. But um, like I said, my brothers inspired me, and I really just do it for younger kids because I kind of wish I had like a person that would make a YouTube video and show me like a day in the life and show me uh, things that kind of insider scoop. But I don't show everything, obviously, because Crystal Ball is very strict on that, and I'm very strict on that in respecting my teammates and respecting my coaches and understanding my uh, my leeway with the YouTube channel. So yeah. Next question, Eric Scopel, two four seven Sports. Hey Mike, I just wanted to talk back about last year a little bit on the I guess injury front. You suffered a couple of, of tough setbacks there, and uh, playing time obviously missed opportunity. Kind of how how did you what did you learn from that experience? Kind of unique for a freshman probably to, to have to deal with that. Yeah, um, it was it was a lot to handle um, emotionally. Um, I was very close to being just getting upset with because I, I believe in God and everything. So I was upset with God. I was upset with myself. I just couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Why did I keep getting hurt? Like I was a guy in high school who never got hurt. I would run people over, hit people as hard as I can and feel nothing. And so um, it was very humbling experience. I think I wouldn't say it's something I needed, but something that made me stronger mentally, personally. Um, if I didn't have that happen to me, I probably wouldn't be the young man I am today. And I wouldn't be grateful uh, as grateful as I am on this field now, healthy and strong and stuff like that. So um, credit to the doctors, credit to the training staff for getting me right and uh, keeping me healthy. So uh, I'm just grateful and just understanding that football can be taken away from me at any second. And so I got to give all I got every single play. And um, I'm just going to continue to be the, be the <laughs> reckless player I am, but I'm going to play a little smarter this time. Next question, Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Yeah, Micah, for those who don't get to watch practice, we don't get an opportunity to see what this offense looks like um, under Joe Moorhead. How would you describe this this unit? Um, this unit is very close to fast. Um, there's going to be a lot of new things thrown uh, thrown at you guys that you guys will kind of be surprised at positions and stuff like that. It'll be, it'll be really interesting to see how everything goes. Um, I really love this offense. I literally know every single position, every single route, every single concept. And um, credit to BMAC and credit to Coach Moorhead. I mean, uh, they've definitely been on me about learning every single position and stuff like that. And so it just allows us receivers to be on the field as much as possible and leave the best guys on the field as much as possible. Next question goes to Jerry Thompson of uh, Ducks Illustrated. Jerry, you need to unmute yourself. Looks like he's frozen. Yeah, he's frozen. All right, we'll move on to uh, Julian Minenson from KEZI. Hey, Mike, I just uh, was curious, um, watching your brother's kind of draft process, um, what did you learn from that? And was it an extra motivator for you? What did he tell you about it? What is an extra motivator for you um, as somebody who probably wants to be in that same position one day? Uh, yeah, um, I like that question. Um, it definitely has 
um, been a motivator for me. Uh, seeing, I literally was at his house due to COVID and everything. So I was at his house with him, hanging out with him. And just to see like his dream come true and my dream, like hopefully coming true and trying to be like him and stuff like that. Um, it's just a big, like, just, I guess, reality check for me that I only have hopefully two years, three years left and I could be in his shoes. And so it just makes me more motivated and more hungry to see how successful he is and see how hardworking he is and just uh, his lifestyle and the way he approaches the game just makes me want to uh, continue to drive and not give up, obviously, when when stuff like injuries happen to me, it makes me just want to keep going and just keep striving to become a better player and a better man. Final question for Micah goes to James Krapia from the Oregonian. Micah, you mentioned knowing all the positions. Uh, is What do you consider your natural position then? Is it still in the slot? Is it X? Is it Z? Is it F? Uh, which which one do you consider your, your natural spot now? Um, uh, we will, I will actually be lining up on the outside more now. Um, you guys will, I think you guys will be pretty excited for that. I, I'm really excited for it. Um, but I'm going to be moving around everywhere, but primarily right now I am outside, uh, receiver now. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Sweet. Thank you guys. Have a good day.